Okay, that's where we parked here last night. This campground is pretty nice. Can't complain. For five bucks for ten sides, ten dollars. We had electric the whole night. So I didn't get the water. The water's an extra five, so that's fifteen, which is a pretty good deal considering the spots are pretty wide. And but then the no seams, those were really bad. I'm just sitting here with my breakfast, having some coffee. That is my view. It's a Sunday morning. We're going to go to the office and pay it. So it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Sure beats the Walmart for five bucks. Do you know what site we're on? I think that was 21 or 12? Uh, 12. 12. Well, it's so, 21 uh, if you read it backwards. Well, I read it backwards. <laughs> well, it didn't go so well this morning. Just so you know. I'm a little bit upset. I did like the campground. I think it was a good deal. But, okay, so... This is not going to be a rant video because it's my fault. It, this is a learning curve for me. I'm going to tell you what happened. When we got there yesterday, there were a lot of bugs at the campground. And um, we pulled into where the tent sites are because we thought, okay, five bucks, we're going to pay five bucks because we don't need water, we don't need electric. So we're just going to pull into the tent site. And when we were there, we were already there, we were getting ready. I realized that there was an actual electric box there where we were at and I thought oh I told Louis we got to move from here because there's an electric box here so the neighbor that was parked there he told us oh site number 12 is the one that you want so we trusted that we went over there to site number 12 well guess what when we got there there was an electric box so I told Louis you know what let's just stay here we'll pay the ten dollars get air conditioning because there's bugs tonight and they might even come in through the screens and you know the little tiny no seams so we stayed there I didn't know there was water there I didn't see the water until this morning because they're painted black so and we, we were just like in and out I mean the bugs were so those little tiny little things man they just like eat you alive so this morning when we woke up there was water there and I'm like well the way that it's worded you know it doesn't say a site 1 through 10 you're gonna pay $15 site 10 through 20 you're gonna pay $10 and site you know 15 through so and so you're gonna pay five that's usually the way it's worded in most RV parks and I've done lots of RV parks that I've been doing this since 2012 so what I saw at this park was totally different this is something that I've never seen before so I assumed it was like an honor system type of a system where you know because where you can just pay according to what you use so it's five dollars if you don't hook up it's ten dollars if you hook up that's the way they're worded it and it's um, fifteen dollars if you use the electric in the water so the way that I understood it was you just come there you don't use it. but that's a, that's why it's so confusing the way it is because I thought it was and then they also have an honor system when you arrive you're supposed to pay leave the money in cash you only take cash in this part so I thought we'll just do it in the morning we'll pay the money in the morning because if the office is not open we'll just do that it turned out that we had to pay the $15 this morning and I got mad at the guy and I told him you know what I didn't use the water I only use the electric one. No, he charged me the 15. I learned my lesson. This is the first time I've ever seen wording like that. And I know now, whenever I see something like that, I have to be really careful. Well, I learned a lesson today about wording and parks. You have to be really careful with that. I mean, he did what he had to do. If he's doing his job, he's supposed to charge me $15 for the site. Any other park, it would be like that. But I'm just saying that the wording from the park is leads to the fact that you think that it's an honor pay type of system and, and that's um, and that's what you have to be cautious so if you guys are out there and you find parks like this just learn the lesson that I that I learned today that's not gonna happen
We just kind of wing it. We kind of know where we're going and go to those places. When I'm by myself, I do way more planning. The problem is right now we're looking. He's, we're trying to find some stuff and we can't because we don't got internet. It goes on, it goes off. So we're just going to head to town. It's about four miles from where we're at. And there should be internet there. And then, um, and, you know, at least we can get self coverage there. And then the trip can't be complete without stocking up at the Walmart. So it, we just pulled up here so that we can get some Wi Fi have some lunch, pick up some supplies before we head off. It was one in there. It's a real hot day today, very hot, but we're keeping cool with all the fans running in here, which is awesome. That is a great thing. I was not able to run that fan up there with my camper before, but now with the new solar setup, I'm able to do that. My refrigerator is working off the solar, which is great. I only have to turn on the propane at night, so it makes it a lot easier now when I turn off the truck um, I don't have to run to the propane, turn that on, and go in the store, and then come back. We gotta go out and turn off the propane. You know all that stuff that I have to do because I I don't like driving with the propane, and I refuse to drive with the propane. So, we spent the night at this Walmart. No CMs the other night at that campground. I'm going to, they're still living in my RV. I don't know because last night at four in the morning, I couldn't resist the scratch. I am like covered everywhere I have rash everywhere everywhere and my elbow there's a bite on it right here and it's like swollen and it it's hurt I can hardly even hold hold anything in my hand it's so hard I just told us I just want to go somewhere and rest today so we're gonna go to a campground really nice campground by the beach you want a piece of egg mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that. so it's 8 30 9 30 10 30 11 30 so she said we can we, she said it's at two i think two or one i think 2 p.m is checking but she'll let us stay early because it's off season so wildflowers are everywhere oh, yellow wildflowers and then we just passed an area where they were pink and red and it's just so beautiful this time of the year to travel it brightens your day when you see something like that you're on the road and everything is green and you're you know you're Paying attention to your stuff, your podcast, or your music, or whatever you're thinking about. And then all of a sudden, you see this burst of colorful flowers on the road like that. And it's just, honestly, it's a moment of gratitude. It's just a silent moment of gratitude. You cannot help but be in awe. here because Doris is putting cream on me because I have some kind of a rash all over like from those bug bites I got all these red dots everywhere oh my god I'm desperate every time you're touching it like I want here's, you to scratch here's me here's the thing though here's the thing she's been she's been itching since yesterday yeah okay she's been itching all day she's driving been driving for about an hour itchy like crazy 
she has this itch cream in the camper and she hasn't used it until now only because I told her Lydia put the cream on no, Louis, but we're gonna go to an RV park I want to take a shower well Where's but in the meantime you're gonna be scratching all over oh my eye okay let's put the cream in my eye my eye it's just open your eye <laughs> my neck is killing me did you put it on my neck I can't take it anymore. What neck? You, not, you got nothing lend on your, your neck. Lend me your scratcher, Louis. I, oh my know. God, I got something. But I don't have it on my stomach. I only have it like where, where like exposed. Where I'm exposed. Yeah, like it's not on my on stomach or on anything like that. On your head. I got it on your hair. I can't stand it, there, Louis. I need nails. <laughs> you got nails, Louis. I got nails. <laughs> Please scratch me, Louis. Scratch me. You can't scratch. My, it my is elbow a, is it swollen. Is more, yeah, no, it's not swollen. It's, it hurts it's just, like I bruised it. Well, you have a few bite marks right here. Oh, they must, I need, And then you've been scratching. I think I got Lyme disease. Probably. If you do, I'm, I'm out of here. Well, you're leaving me anyway, Louis. I'm going to be stuck here somewhere, parked on the side of the road, scratching for the next few days. Oh, well, it's going to be you and a rat. But at least I got solar. <laughs> <laughs> My eye is like... I don't know. Allergic reaction maybe to those bugs? I don't know what it is, but I know it does not feel good. I just want to scratch, but my arms and my legs have it bad. And I guess I was scratching and now I have it on my eye. I don't know. So, let's see. I ended up turning around. Uh, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to turn around. Now Louis says he's itchy. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, and please subscribe. Next time on Simply RV, we discover an awesome RV park. And right there, that's the back of my rig. Think that's too big for us? Oh, it's got the polar pads. No, that would be nice.